Hello and welcome back to Space Chem. No employment record found. I didn't see Hikaru for the following week. When I entered the office, Marianne was turned to the window. She made no move to acknowledge me and focused on the dark portal. I worked for 20 minutes on system optimizations before I heard a thud against the glass. Marianne stood with her hand planted against the window. Hikaru's gone, she said. I didn't know he'd gotten authorization. No, he's missing. No one's seen him in his quarters. He hasn't been to the med bay. There is no record of his departure and all of his things are still here. If Hikaru wanted to leave, it was a tedious process, but certainly possible. Everyone would, would know. Flight logs were updated every day to document arrivals and departures. There was no privacy. I logged into the personal database and searched for anything with his name attached. No results. He's not in the directory, I said. Marianne shook her head, returned to her desk, and turned on her computer. Neither of us did much work that morning. We got our friend the fusion laser back. And only two things. Okay, well this reactor does a little bit of everything, doesn't it? Fusion laser, only two bonders, and then a, a scanner, as, or a sensor as well. So we're making hydrochloric acid. That seems relatively simple. The problem, of course, is uh, this. Boron? Yeah. Uh, aluminum and silicon. All right. Actually, I should be looking at the numbers. That's more important than the names. Um, 5, 13, 14... Where is chlorine? I'm assuming it's higher than those. 17. Oh boy. Seventeen, huh? Which five plus thirteen does not work. So what we're doing here is we need to find a way to use the uh, the laser. So no matter which of the three molecules we get, or atoms that we get, we must just keep adding hydrogen to it until we get the desired output. So I guess obviously that's what the sensor is going to be used for then. It's checking whether we have chlorine. We can check other things with it as well, but um, it doesn't matter which of these we get. All that matters is whether we have chlorine or not. So actually with that kind of... Um, Hmm. Interesting. Of course, though, the problem is I don't think I can stack the sensor on one of these, yeah. Alright, well... Question... Yeah, so because this is a, a research assignment, there's no input delay. I can just, every single tick, I can add an atom. Interesting. So I think what we want to do then is we're just going to stick this on top of the hydrogen. Let's get the start symbol out of the way. Interesting that chlorine chlorine isn't lit up despite being one of the molecules. Or one of the atoms that's involved in the solution one way or the other. So I think what I'm gonna do here. We can fuse into something while we're grabbing it, right? So if we do something like this, this should just work until we have chlorine, right? Uh, 
Uh, no particular reason I'm doing this on blue, that's just kind of what I started with. Yeah, so it, doesn't, it shouldn't matter what I have here. The way I've set this up, this should just keep going until I get chlorine. Alright. So now it doesn't matter what this is. Because if I get boron, it'll take longer, but it'll just be stuck in this loop for forever until I get the chlorine anyway. Cool. Now, because I've set this up like this, it's a little bit awkward, but I think I'm just going to use a sink to grab the... Uh, the remaining hydrogen that I need. That's all I need here. And then here, let's do another sink like that. If I want to be efficient or if I want to match this, I'm just going to match this. I don't really care about being efficient. Okay. So I think this just works, doesn't it? Like, it's looked potentially complicated, but solving this issue immediately, I think, just trivialized the entire mission. Like, unless this doesn't line up, but we'll check it out. See if this works. No, well, looks good to me. And so silicon, this will be the fastest of them. get a boron next or is it going to be I mean I, don't, I guess I don't have to watch boron go slowly but I just kind of want to watch watch it go once and then I'll just end the solution this is the one that's going to take a while Yeah, because when I initially saw this, I was worried that I was going to have to do some sort of like three-way branching system using a flip-flop. Um, which, you know, I could have done. But um, no, this was a much, much simpler solution. So I'm glad that I thought of this. It's not a terribly interesting solution to look at, though, is it? It's just kind of... It's kind of going. Alright, not bad. Uh, right all along. And I wonder if we're just not going to have any production on this planet. If it's like everything is just going to be research. I guess we'll find out soon. Uh, right all along next time. I will see you then.